can't hurt you. Because think about the Christians, okay? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? No. What did they do? They took your head off. They beheaded you if you didn't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. See, this is reality. Yeah, they're terrorists, but the bottom line is to them, they are not. Now, why is that important to understand? Because they are as committed to their cause and to their way of life as you are yours. And they see you as being wrong. That's very difficult. When people are passionate about what they believe in, they become a very difficult enemy to be. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Founding yeah, yeah. Fathers. Yeah. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. Yeah. These guys right here, let me ask you something. Did they try to scare people? <laughs> oh, yeah. They tried to intimidate the British. Did they try to, did they use acts of violence? Your founding fathers, my founding fathers, were involved in acts of terrorism against British officials because they systematically had British officials assassinate, assassinate. The guys who we call our founding fathers, George Washington, Mr. Honest, who cut down a cherry tree and admitted it, is the same guy who signed death orders, if you will, on members of the British government, the British crown, who they wanted to eliminate because politically they had influence in certain pockets of the United States, at that time the 13 colonies, and they wanted to divide and conquer. They may get a whole lot of civilians, and hey, let's, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? If they kill 10,000 civilians tomorrow with a biological agent, that's too bad for them. 